Alright, welcome back. This is the second part of doing this little wire angel project. Um, if you missed the first part, there is a first video, of course, uh, which I had to take a break because I apparently had a false alarm of a red light. On I don't know what was going on with it. Camera just decided it didn't love me. So anyway, what I did in the first part was I put together this, which I have found. Uh, had the wire a little too short here and Looking at this again, I've still got this little half-inch piece sticking out here that they didn't say what to do with. But if you look at the illustrations, it looks like it was wrapped around her neck. To give her a neck, basically. So I'm going to do that now. Let me make sure I'm going the right direction here. I don't want to unwind her from whatever. And this is where you really do need these tiny little tools to help you get these things wrapped around. Because there's no way your fingers are going to fit in there. You know? <laughs> it, it's tight space. And that is a sharp, sharp, sharp little piece of wire. So there we go. She's got a nice little neck. All right. Now back to what we were doing. I've already wrapped the little arms. Um, I did not do as the instructions said. I, I looked again while on the break. And yeah, you're supposed to take a second 9-inch piece of wire and wrap around it. But if you could twist it like this, it does the job. It's good enough. And then the wings, I also was looking at that, and it left those two raw ends just hanging out there. So I went ahead and I twisted them in so that they don't bite you on the finger like it did me five or six times. And here's the wings so far bent in, not spread out. I've got my next 9-inch piece of wire, which it appears we are supposed to use to connect the wings and the arms together. Then bring it around the angel and connect it to its center. So you've got the little arm and wing wired together. And I guess it goes around that little neck area. So that's what we're going to do next. And it only shows it going in one direction. So let's hope that isn't wrong. I'll just hold these together like this. So you can't get away. And then right here in the middle. I'm going to start my wrap. Oh, I'm going to need my pliers. I can't tighten it down. Okay. It's a good wire. I mean, it's not breaking in my hands or anything. So, tighten you up. Give you a good old hug. Okay. Let's do this a few times. Nice and tight. I'm going to bind that. Take these two little pieces of wire and twist. Okay, so you can see a little better. Two little pieces of wire, twist them together. You can actually see what I'm doing better this way, I think. Let's get the flat one here because that little piece is still sticking out. If you snip it, it's going to be pointy. Not that it isn't already from me cutting it, but you know. Okay. I'm going to take that back up and in. Okay, so we have our arms and wings bound together. Now I need to bend the arms forward. <laughs> Expose another sharp piece. And forward. So here we are. Sort of. You can see my face right now. You know that face I give to stuff that just ain't doing what it's supposed to do? You know those packages that won't open for me? Yeah, that's that face. Okay, so here we have the little arms are forward. Got this big long tail. It's going to wrap around her neck. Here it goes. Maybe. <laughs> I've got to negotiate the arms and the wings here. Go around her little neck. They say middle, but that's her little neck. I am sorry. That's her middle. would put you right in the bottom half of her skirts, I guess. Put your arms down, lady. I'm only strangling you. Come on. Come on. It's for your own good. You need wings and arms. Okay, well it gives me a lot of leftover wire. Okay. 
But anyway, hmm. let's get everything all spread out here. She's a little wonky looking, let me tell you. But she's fluffy. Okay. If I can get these separated, I'm supposed to spread them out a little. Here we go. Maybe I should have done this first. But again, it doesn't mention that, so. Spread her little wings so she's ready to fly. Ain't perfect. No, this is perfect. It's okay. It's okay, little angel. You can be imperfect. Put your wing down there. Get your arm back up here. And a little bit of shaping has to go on here, and yeah, it's going to resist some of it. Be persistent. She will obey. You'll be beautiful. I said so. Okay. So here we are so far. Her little skirts and her little wings are all spread out. Mm, fluffy. Her halo needs a little adjusting, but okay. <laughs> it had a hard life already. There we go. So here we are so far. Now, it says to glue a rhinestone on there. Look at this. Yep, glue rhinestone in the center of the angel. Um, it says to use glue, like E6000, which actually tells me this isn't all that old. Um, but for the sake of expediency, I'm going to use a hot glue gun. So, rhinestone. I've got one right here. Just a little clearer. Crystal rhinestone. I'm going to put the glue on her because that's awful close to my fingertips. I'm going to put some on her face. It's okay, lady. It peels off. Put it in the center of her body. That's no. That's no. Okay, we're not doing it. Come on now. I know. There's not a lot of space there. Might take a couple of tries. Unless, you know, you're a little less clumsy than I am today. Alright, little dot of glue. Let's try this again. Little teeny rhinestone. Press it in place. The glue's squeezing out a little, but it's okay. You're going to see it no matter what. She's only made of wire. A little rhinestone. Boy, she's sloppy. <laughs> so far, she has a little rhinestone. Here's her little crystals. Now, it says glue the pin back to the angel, or you can cut a two-inch piece of wire and put the pin back on. Well, they told us to cut nine inches to put her to attach her with. Look at all this wire. So I don't think I need to cut any more. I think I'm going to do a combination here. I'm going to wire that thing on. And then I'm going to hit it with a little glue to make sure it doesn't come loose. So, pin back. Generally, you want the opening side down. So that, you know, it's easier to put on. Uh, if you do it side to side, I guess just whichever way you prefer. If there's a right way or a wrong way, I've never been told. So I just put it however it lands. I'm going to put up through that hole, down through the other, just like sewing a button. And I hope that it agrees with my motives. So far it seems to be. It may lie to me, I don't know. But for right now it seems to agree. Sorry if my hand's in the way. Cameraman! Wait, I can go one. Yeah, it's fighting me just a tiny little bit, but that's okay. It's got spirit. Okay. Alright, it's on that pretty tight. 
I'm going to take and wrap around as well. A little more contact helps keep it in place. Definitely going to have to use the glue, or else it's going to wiggle a lot. Okay, so she's kind of on there. Not the best. We're getting there. I just like tying a string. I'm going to go back through that loop and try and make a knot with this wire. I think it's light enough I can do it. Oops. Just like with string, it tangles up under everything. Remember, a lot of time, what you can do with string, you can do with a thin wire. If you've never tried it, try crocheting wire sometime. You get some good results if you can get it done right. Now, I've still got that little tail there, so I'm just going to curly cue that and tuck it under. And then that's going to be all hidden away and out so it doesn't catch anything. That's actually pretty secure, but I'm still going to hit it with a dot of glue because I don't want it twisting around, wiggling, and doing all this crap. <laughs> so, just a little dual glue here. Oh, it's going everywhere. Yeah, it is. Try to be neat off the spider strings here. She is a little off center, but that's okay. After all, we're just playing with this thing. We want to see what it was like. So, oh, somewhat old craft kit. <sighs> cool down, honey. <sighs> somewhat old craft kit. Um, they don't mention what tools you're going to need, but do know you will probably want at least a couple of you know, needle nose, a couple of small ones, just to make your life easier while dealing with all of this. And, uh, yeah, you want a little bit more wire than what they show. But, otherwise, it, it pretty much makes what it says it makes. Here's the picture. And here's the actual product. So, there you have it. Bead kit making little angels. Um... Yeah, unless somebody messages me and says they want more of them, these beads are going to go to other projects going forward. And also that nice spool of wire, because there's way more there than I should have needed to make five or twelve or twelve of these. So, that was it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be having another video pretty soon where I'm making some stuff where I'm actually going to be trying out a new product that I found at our local craft store. And if that one works out, I think it's going to be kind of interesting. But that video definitely is going to be at least two parts, maybe three, because it's about squishies. And this project, this uh, product that I found is allowing you to sculpt your own squishy. And I'm not talking about cutting away stuff that's already done. It's like a clay and you sculpt it. So we'll see how that one turns out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please be sure to visit me on DeviantArt, Kitsune Hariri, Facebook, that is Steamed Fox Latte, where you can see what projects I'm working on, commissions, what have you. Um, and also on Patreon, Steamed Fox, or, blah, 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 blah. watch me mess that one up. Kitsune Haruri dash Steam Fox Latte. I do have a couple of nice little perks on there, and I do have tiers starting at $1. So if you think what I'm doing is pretty cool, but you ain't got a lot of cash, that's okay. Toss me a buck per month. That still helps. Every little bit does. And hopefully, sometime soon, I'll upgrade this stuff and give you some edited product. So, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, please be sure to comment, like, share, and hit that bell, and we will talk to you later. Thanks for watching!